So we'll be looking at another method uh, that could be done in the laboratory, and this is serum protein electrophoresis. Serum protein erect electrophoresis. Okay, and anytime you see electrophoresis, the first thing that should come to your mind is basically what you're using trying to use electricity to divide a group of things. As simple as that. All right. So if you have a group of proteins, you want to know if this protein is albumin, if this one is pre-albumin, if this one is uh, globulin, is it alpha globulin or beta globulin? Right. You might actually was uh, put this protein in an electrophoretic machine to basically what separate them. Okay, so that's what simply what serum protein electrophoresis means. So, so that the serum protein electrophoresis is an easy, inexpensive method of separating proteins, and this is based on their net charge, their size, and shape. Okay. Now, the two major types of proteins present in the serum are albumin and globulin proteins. Albumin is a major protein component of what serum, and it represents the largest peak that lies closest to the positive electrode. Okay? So, you see all these large peaks. All these large peaks you see here. Can you see albumin? Albumin is having what? The largest peak. To say that albumin is what the greatest okay albumin is the greatest in um serum okay greatest protein in serum okay so we said that globulins make up a much smaller fraction of total serum protein but they represent the primary focus of interpretation of serum protein electrophoresis okay now five globulins categories are present we have the alpha one globulin alpha 2 globulin, beta 1 globulin, beta 2 globulin, and the gamma globulin, with the gamma fraction being the closest to the negative electrode. Okay? Now, can you see that what? You have the album in here. Now, can you see that the gamma 1 is closest to the negative what? Electrode. Can you see everything we're saying? We're relating it. Right? So, you see, again, Albumin is having the highest what because it is the greatest in the serum. Okay, then we have the gamma one being closest to the negative electrode. Okay, now we said that this serum protein electrophoresis basically you are trying to what separate proteins according to your electrical charge. Okay, you can use cellulose acetate or agarose gel. All right. It will separate proteins into five distinct groups as seen in the electrophorectogram. Like what? You have albumin, alpha 1 globulins, alpha 2 globulins, beta 1 globulins, beta 2 globulins, and the gamma globulins. So that's just it about understanding the concept of what? Serum protein electrophoresis. All right? So see you guys.